30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, we're going to take a look at the stocks from yesterday, the E-mini S&P. Several people have asked me to point out some of those smaller ABCD patterns that we were looking at. You can see here in the morning we had the first one, then we made new lows, then we made the ABCD three drive to a top pattern up here at um, 4067. And we were on the show then, and I said, that's where I'd be looking to sell it. We went up to here, folks, and then after that, it backed off just a little bit in the middle of the night, and it had one hellacious rally. And we want to take a look at that because I think it's important when we see these things, the way they're rallying, you've got to follow what's happening overnight because, you know, they, they have huge moves. I mean, just absolutely huge moves. Now, the one I'm going to show you now is basically uh, what we did all night last night. Now, we didn't quite make the 382 pattern. We missed it by uh, eight handles. That number up here, uh, we were supposed to be at 40, uh, 47.82, I believe. We got to 47.72, uh, somewhere in that ballpark. And then you can see, you know, it gave up the ghost and broke down. We completed the big ABCD down here at even money at 405. We went a little bit lower down here to 469, 470, uh, 3969, 3970. Folks, something is wrong with the stock market. I I hate to be a be breaker of bad news, but my goodness, boys and girls, this is not looking good. It really isn't. Maybe it'll reverse today and go back up. But golly gee, it's got so many things happening to it. You've got to be you got to be very careful in here. Now there was one thing that was really super duper important and that's what we had here we talked about this yesterday and i want to bring this up because you know if you can learn from this just like i do i learn every day that's what kept me young all these years now this is the nasdaq as we were yesterday and i said we want to look for to get a 382 up in this area right here or failing that Look for what pattern would we like to see, boys and girls. Little Johnny in the back of the room has raised your hand. What is it, Johnny? It's AB equals CD, Mr. Valentine. Well, by golly, shut the front door, and that's what we're looking at. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to look at this because, believe it or not, let's get it. Where are you, Mr. Shut the front door and raise the rent. I got it written here somewhere. I, oh, dear. Now I've lost it and my beepers are going off. There's what I've got. Here's what I want to show you. Here's where we were. And I want to get this up here to see what's going on here. And bada bing, bada boom. Okay, there it was. You see a perfect ABCD in the NASDAQ last night around, I think it was around 2 in the morning. The trading gods had put me to sleep, so I didn't get it. My beeper went off, but by the time I got in, the beeper was 100 points lower than that, so it didn't make uh, too much difference here. So let's uh, remind ourselves. Hold on here a second. They're yelling and screaming me here on something. Okay, that's what we're seeing here. As we The stocks are getting below the 61% retracement of the range now, which is not a good sign. Uh, that number comes in at uh, 39 78. We start getting below 39.78 here, folks. That's not going to be a good sign this late in the day, but that's still a little bit early in the day. Now, we've had a bunch of things happen overnight, not just the S&P. Uh, the, the Dow E-mini missed the, missed the 382 by well over 150 points. The NASDAQ missed it by a lot on the 382, but it made the ABCD. The uh, E mini S and P made the A B C D and then also missed the three A two retracement. So the question is, how do you trade one or the other? I like to trade with the three A two, but you know what brought me to the promised land here, boys and girls? You know what that number is? 
Hello, operator. Yeah, 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 you got it. It was a 382 number, and that's the one you want to be focusing on here. I've got to turn off my machine, folks, because my beepers are going nuts. We're breaking below these key levels, and the old cowboy is uh, pressing the market. Anyway, let's let's forget this. Let's move on. we got a couple others. Remember yesterday we were talking about this one to get ready for something really big to happen to this one right here, which was none other than the crude oil. Let's get this up here to see it. There's the big ABCD. Remember, we went right down to the 382. Remember, we talked about that. Look at the ABCD structure up here. It's uh, 9660. The high was 9712. Well, boys and girls, it ain't 9712 no more. It's down 10% today. Read to my lips. 10%. Was that who George W. did that? Never did like that guy. Hold on. Like his son, I, but not too much, the old man. Let's get back up here and take a look at this one right here. If you have any questions, 877-927-6648, and you'll be up to see where we are here. There was the move in the middle of the night. There was the first 382 retracement right here. There was the second 382 retracement right here, and we've gone down. We've dropped well over $6 a barrel. Now, that isn't bullish. It's good for the people in the UK because I'm going to tell you a little story here right now. We have friends, of course, in the Isle of Man, one of which is John Jameson's. John's not involved with this, but we have a mutual friend over there that has a very, very large house. It's 12,000 square foot with a heated garage of 3,000 square foot where he keeps his cars, okay? His heating bill, folks, has gone from 400 pounds a month Remember, 12,000 square feet, and the ceilings are 60 feet high. 400 pounds a month to 2,500 pounds per month to heat his house. Now, he can afford it, but people that see that type of increase four or five times what they've been paying, they're not able to do that, boys and girls. They're, they're really not. That that is not, uh, that is not in the cards, so... Uh, this is big. I hope we're going to have one of the warmest summers we've ever had, but I don't know if we are or not. Okay, now let's move on to a couple other things that I think we need to talk about. And one, of course, was the wheat yesterday. We had the same thing happening in the crude oil that we had in the wheat. We had that beautiful, just the pattern was the same. I know I'm just doing this uh, to remind ourselves that uh, be ready for when things happen. Now, we had the move to get up into this area right here at 849, and now we're down about 22 cents today, completing another ABCD pattern. So those are the ones that we're watching, and we watch ABCD. That's our bottom line thing that we look at. But remember, long term, we've got some big things happening in these markets, uh, financials and the um, bond market. Oh, my goodness. You want, you want to see a dead quail, boys and girls? Look at this one here. We've been bearish this one since Hector was a pup, and that dog's nine years old. Hold on here. Well, it's actually only been three years we've been bearish that. Ever since they were telling us about, you know, the good old negative interest rates. We couldn't even make a 382 on these last few days, folks, with the Federal Reserve out there. We couldn't even make an ABCD. And now we've taken out the lows in the last five days. Higher interest rates are coming, boys. The girls deal cash car, he guaranteed it. We'll be all right back, boys and girls. 877 927 In a time of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large scale, low cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd feasibility study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16-year mine life. All of this, combined with the approvals of all major operational, as well as environmental permits, this distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN Education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I've had a request to take a look at silver. Most of you that are trading with the 24-7 realize that we've been bearish the gold for quite some time. We were selling it at the 382 at 18, excuse me, 1773. We're now trading at 1735. We think we're still going to get down to around 1710 to 1695. I posted the chart of silver. Uh, Steve Rhodes mentioned it on the last time, but it is extremely weak, boys and girls. As you can see, with gold coming down, silver is ab absolutely collapsing. You know, being where it is is, uh, is a very, very, very uh, low level. But I still think long term we're going to be okay, but we got to wash out this stuff. We got to get silver maybe down to that 1500 level. And then we're going to take a, a really close look at it, that's for sure. Now, I've had a request. I don't want to do this, but when I have a request, I'm going to try to honor it. And that is yeah, they wanted to take a, a look at what the AI, the artificial intelligence, is looking at in the E-mini S&P here today. And it's interesting because we'll be at the end of the show here to see if uh, if it's going to happen. So hold on, get this up. Now, this comes right out of the Floor Traders Handbook, folks. This is nothing more than the time key times of the day. They usually happen right after the opening, as you can see right here. The other one's in around 10 o'clock. Here's your uh, midday, uh, right around noon, when we get off at uh, 2 o'clock today with two hours to go. We should be bottoming uh, in the S&P at that point. So we need to watch that uh, very closely because if, if it's true, we could be looking at a rally towards the end of the day. And we've seen these things rally last night, folks. I mean... I couldn't believe it when I woke up this morning and saw that the S&P had gotten from 40, was, was it 39.90 or something? No, no, no. It was 40, uh, 40, 40, 29 to 40.72. When I got up, it was like it was already down about 30 points from the high because I overslept a little bit. But uh, that's what is happening. Anyway, we'll watch that for a uh, key time of the day. We should be making new lows here. Uh, between now and the next uh, 35, 40 minutes. How much? I don't know. No one really knows. But let's talk about something that's in the news, and that is this heating problem that they're having around the world, especially in Europe. I want to bring natural gas up here because you, if you're not trading this, folks, you're missing a really good deal. Let me just show you why. The mar margin on this, well, this was from yesterday. This was the 382. The market went down 5,000 and up 5,000. That's a $10,000 move, folks. That's a 
That's equivalent to 200 handles in the S&P, and it did it in one day. Hello, operator. You getting the picture? This is what we call volatility, volatility. So what we tried to do this morning was to go into the natural gas and follow it along just to show you how it hits these numbers that we talk about here. We're going to be doing a lot of this when we do the day trading thing on September 20th, my sainted mother's birthday. Hold on one second and get this up here and be able to see. And boy, she was sainted, let me tell you. All right, we'll move this up here. I have one question. I'll cover this in a minute. Here's, the, here's where we were. We broke down yesterday. This morning, we rallied up to a 382 retracement to the absolute tick and then down another four thousand dollars so we're waiting for this to, to come in here right now because this would be an abcd and it would be a double abcd because you have an a b c d coming in right here and someone's asked the question why i'm only showing the ones that work if I showed you the ones that didn't work, my show would have to be nine hours long, and I haven't got that much time. I just pick the ones that I'm looking at, boys and girls, the simple ones. You know, you're going to find the ones that are easiest to look at, and this was one that looked relatively easy, just like that crude oil trade. You know, the crude oil rallied up exactly to the 382 at $93.60 a barrel and immediately dropped $2,000. I mean, hello, operator. This is a... You know, they don't always work, but when they do, and when they do, those are the ones that we like to see how they work. And that's the real key to what we're watching here, looking at some of these things here today. Now, we have a question, uh, actually request to take a look at the German DAX for what's happened today. This comes from our good old friend, Mr. Tommy Terrific Hugard. You'll see that it is acting much better than the U.S. stock market, even though it is weaker. It's acting better. And it's having a little bit of a bounce, just like we had this morning. And that's basically all it's doing. Nothing more, nothing less. These markets bounce around on the slightest bit of news. And that's what we try to see is how we're going to handle this news as it goes through. One other question I wanted to bring this. This is super important, folks. I'm gonna, I should put this out every day. It should be on my business card, actually, because my old compadre, Mark Douglas, made me live this dream. And I want to get this up here. It was his favorite quote, folks. Honest to God, it really was. And uh, other than A, B equals C, D, that was his favorite. But after this, it was this quote right here. It says, when you really believe that trading is simply a probabilities game, the concepts of right and wrong no longer have any significance to you. And, folks, that's what it's all about. Do you know what your biggest problem is if you're trading and you're losing money? I can tell you right now, you're watching the GD screen too much. Try to wean yourself away from, you know, watching the markets. And the reason why is with these programs that they've got now, they tell you what your equity is within a heartbeat, right? Well, hello, operator. That doesn't help you at all because all that money is doing is changing your, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, you know, your, your way of thinking of things. And that's not, that's not a good deal, boys and girls. Honest to God, it isn't. You know, pra practice it a little bit. Test the old cowboy on that, okay? Just don't, you don't have to be, you don't have to watch it all day long, but start out with baby steps. This is what I tell people to do, but they don't listen to me, so that's not unusual. <laughs> Put a 15-minute chart up and, and only look at 15 minutes. Go do something else. Do the lawn, wash the dishes, do something else. Kick your dog, walk your dog, whatever it is. Come back in 15 minutes, okay? Then wean yourself to half an hour. Okay, when you get to an hour, you're going to be have a lot of peace of mind, and you're going to be able to monitor your positions a whole lot better, at least with the 30-minute chart. So that's a big deal. So pay close attention to that. It's not uh, it's not rocket science, but boy, I tell you, it's very important not to watch those uh, things go up and down. It really isn't. <laughs> Mr. Shane comes on and says, "In Larry, we trust." <laughs> only if you must. <laughs> hey, I as a poet and don't know it. I makes it rhyme every time. We've got to have the Shane Man on next week. By the way, our guest on um, on, on Thursday will be uh, Stan Harley. Our guest on Friday will be Peter Elides. And our guest tomorrow will be Shane Smullyan. Hopefully he will take the exception speech and uh, be, on our, be on our guest tomorrow. 
and show us what uh, show us what he's looking at because this dude has been super bearish, and uh, we want to hear what he's having to say, and then we'll be able to see it. So hopefully, he'll be able to be on the show uh, tomorrow, and uh, we'll always like to hear what he has to say. By the way, if you do come on, Shane, please uh, go over the Bradley model. We've had several people ask about it, and I don't I, I rely on you on what the Bradley model's doing. So let's uh, let's keep that in mind. Okay, uh, one other thing across the pond here uh, a market that's held up incredibly well considering they're under the gun and that is the UK we'll be right back 877-927-6648 If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, I posted the chart of the FTSE folks, and, you know, the FTSE's holding up incredibly well considering all the news that's over there in Europe about the cost of gasoline and the cost of heating oil and the cost of natural gas and everything. for a cameo appearance just early in the morning to talk to us a little bit about the state of the market and the Bradley model and stuff because he's rather busy. He's under a deadline. Uh, anyway, let's uh, keep talking about this FTSE here because uh, there's so much news in Europe. We don't get it over here, but The Guardian is uh, one of the famous newspapers over there. and They're talking about the fact that the heating bills from for people are going up from 400 from 100 pounds to 400 pounds now that that doesn't seem like a lot folks but that's tripling i mean you know and some people over there these are people that are on pensions and stuff like that and they're not going to be able to pay 
Now, pay their heating bills. They have a choice between their heating bills and eating. So it's, it's going to get nasty. But like the news always says, you know, maybe the price of crude, look, we're at $91 a barrel now. Our low was back here at 87 A little bit below that, shucks. Below 87 folks, you're looking at $65 crude oil. Hey, if it can give up, if it can give up five dollars a barrel in one day, it can give up. Go back and take those lows out, no problem. Look what we did overnight in the S and P. These markets are acting. Something is out there, folks. I keep saying that there's some type of an event out there. I don't know what that swan is, whether it's black, white, pink, or green, but there's a black swan event coming. It could come from China. It could come from Ukraine. It could come from Russia. It could come from China. It could come from Tampa, Florida at TFNN. I don't know, but something's out there. Somebody's out there selling this stuff. And, it, you know, <laughs> I'm a little tiny cowboy. I mean, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a micro man. But anyway, these boys are getting rid of this stuff. You know, we've seen the chart patterns, how bare, bearish they are. I mean, I, that's just technical stuff. There's something that's causing it, folks. I mean, I haven't seen it this way. Let's go back again, and I'll show you the whole program again because I, I shared this with uh, uh, our, my good friend um, Tom Hugard uh, over the uh, last night or so to remind ourselves where we were here because I want to bring this up and just to show you where we are. This is the 2008 market. Uh, Tom had been working for City Index. Uh, he quit in August of uh, they 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 moved uh, they they quit the um, promotion stuff that he was involved in at TFN or CNBC uh, and, of Europe, and so Tom was on his own. And he started there, and they gave him 18 months. They loved him so much they gave him 18 months severance, which allowed him to tr trade freely. He didn't have to worry about you know money and stuff, but. I believe where we are was right here, folks, right where this 20-man line thing is. That's where I believe we were the other day when we left that island reversal. That's where I think we. That's where I think we were. We're in the midst of making this move right here, and then if we get this one, and if we get this one, if we get this one, this little five-week rally like this at a 382, you're going to see me on a soapbox that I haven't been on since 2008 because that will be the one that if it's right and if it's right that's your falling safe right there and those are the ones that pay all your bills for a long time college education whatever it happens to be now we were fortunate enough to sell this stuff back in january got incredibly bearish here uh on uh, you know that july run into august the 11th 12th that stan harley was talking about jeff huge was talking about it peter lighties was talking about it i was talking about it basil chapman was talking about it steve rhodes was talking about it david white was talking about it and this could be as mr shane smolian says it could be in the words of david niven the big casino so let's get, oh, that wasn't David Niven. That was Humphrey Bogart, also a Yale graduate. But anyway, you'll notice here that we made that big bottom down on March 10th, March 9th. No matter what happens, when this thing is over, it's going to have some of the best buying opportunities we've seen since 2009. But there's, there's going to be some pain. In fact, the Pedal Reserve, the guy, the dude, what was his name? Powell said, hey, there might be some pain for the little people. Hello, operator. Everybody, it's a little people, raise your hand, of course. You know, if you see your, your 401Ks or your 206.5s, whatever they are, go down in, in price a lot, that's pain. It's exactly what it is. No more, no less. So remind ourselves that. Look at the bond market, folks. The bond market's falling out of bed, right? That's not any good. Where, where's, the, where's the flight to quality? Where's it going to go? You know, I don't know where it is, but, you know, nobody else does either. That's the whole key. So remind ourselves that's what we're watching here. So very, very important to pay attention to these things here. Market is, you know, backing and filling all the time. Now, the low that I talked about this morning here with the, with the artificial intelligence program doesn't come in until 15 minutes after I'm off the air. So if we're making new lows around 15 minutes off the air and we start to rally, buy that because it's going to have it'll have a high probability of working. But if it's not working, 10 minutes later, and that's two, that's five two-minute bars. If it's not working, 10 minutes, in other words, by, by, uh, from, from 12, 
from tw- let's not let's call it like it is two o'clock from two fifteen to two thirty. If it's making new lows after two thirty, nana kaka no no. Shaisa sinzi gomi hosen. You don't want that one. Not very good at all. Okay, now just back and forth here, just for a lot of fun, since we're watching something that I happen to be interested in, and I'm going to bring it up here in just a minute so you folks can take a look at it because it's one of those little patterns that we really like. Hold on here, and we'll get this up here and take a look at it. You'll be able to see it real easy, and I'm just going to draw it in so that you're able to see it just as clear as a little bell, and we'll be paying attention to it right here. So hold on. I've got to send it to the the people that care over there, and I just move that over here like that. Here it is right there on the front page, and we're going to be looking at a beautiful a, B equals C, D in the old crude oil up about 92. You can see the low that we made down here. There's the A. There's the B right down to the 618. And there it is right there. And you'll never guess what that relationship would be off of here. Let's just see if it holds, okay? Because the beeper just went off because it just sold it. Now, if it's going to work or not, don't know, but we're going to certainly be watching it. That's one of the things that we want to be doing. That's what I do, folks. I watch 15-minute charts for little tiny patterns, and it tries to get me to the promised land. I've been pretty lucky. Ah, someone asked a question. I have wrote it down here. On my bucket list, what are the two main things on my bucket list that I want? I've done just about everything I've ever wanted to do. I've traveled to five continents. I've seen all the crazy places down in Bolivia and uh, also in uh, uh, Peru. God, Peru was unbelievable with, uh, oh, my God, Sexy Guana and all those old places. Oh, my God. Machu Picchu. Oh, Machu Picchu. You think the pyramids are cool? You should see Machu Picchu. 14,000 feet, and they built this giant city with temples, with boulders that you can't even believe how big they are. Okay, now let's get back to what my bucket list is. Number one on my bucket list would be a segment on CNBC, five to ten minutes on Astro Cycles. That'll be coming. I don't know if it'll be in my lifetime or not, but I think it'll be coming. And the other one is, are you ready, boys and girls? Contact. I'd like to see one of the ET uh, extraterrestrials land on the White House lawn and say, yeah, we're for real. They don't have to be the White House lawn. It could be here in Tucson, Arizona, but at least make contact that, sure, yeah, there are people out there that have been here for a whole lot longer than we've been here. That's it. All right. Back to the medication, boys and girls. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I've been asked to take a look at two of what I think are the most bearish stocks that I can see. The first one is Microsoft. I posted that showing you that big island reversal, just like we had on the cash S&P and so many other things. That was uh, last Wednesday. And if you'll remember here, take a look here. Uh-oh, I think was making new lows because I see the old clock on the wall telling me that's what's happening. And it is. Okay, where's my good buddy John Hill? God love him. God, he's 96, and he's not with us, but he's still with us. Anyway, let me turn this off, boys and girls. I have to turn the li limit minders off on these things because we are making new lows as we expected. That'll happen here at 1215, another half an hour. We should be making lows for the move. But if we're not, then, boy, look out. And it's going to be dangerous down there. It ain't going to be easy. It never is. Hold on just a second here. I got to burn, turn this one off too. Okay, uh, you'll notice here the Facebook. They got major problems, folks. I saw Mr. Zuckerberg on the uh, tube the other day about his soiree with the Fed. The FBI said uh, we've got some uh, fake news coming in on this uh, Hunter Biden thing, and you shouldn't talk about it. And so they didn't. And of course, we now found out that the gentleman that was in charge of that FBI. Uh oh. Let's forget about that. That's politics. I don't really care about that, but someone told me about it, so I got to forget it. In one year, out the other, because I don't care. I was an ABC man, and that's all I be. That's all I be. One other one that is extremely bearish here of all these stocks, and that is uh, Netflix. All right, there's where we are, right up in here. I think I told you the story back here when it was $700. We were having some work done. And the gentleman had a lot of it on, and uh, he he wouldn't get out of it. He said, no, he said, this is in my retirement. Well, it, it's retired, okay, but uh, we just made a 382 back here, just like the rest of the stuff. And also, not only that, we're heading back down. Everything's heading back down again, folks. This is something is not right out there. Am, am I wrong at this? I mean, hello, operator. I mean, what what what, what am I missing? You know, come on. I'm, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a rocket scientist. I mean, I, you know, my IQ is 160, but don't forget, I had to take it three times to get it there. So anyway, let's remind ourselves that something's got to be different out there that people are selling and selling and selling. Remember, this stuff is operated by BlackRock, State Street, Capital, and Vanguard. Those they they control 66 percent of darn near everything that goes on out there. The problem is, what if those people that they have money with, the $27 trillion, what if some of them say, I would like to get out? Hello, operator. Do you remember way back John I can't, John Moneypenny? What was his name? John, 
Oh, I can't remember. Long-term capital. Somebody with a really strong uh, memory. It, it started with money. John, money something or other at long-term capital. They had two, uh, what were the dudes' names? They were uh, uh, Nobel Prize uh, dudes. They won the Nobel Prize in economics, and they ran the whole thing. And it was doing great, except for one thing. They forgot about liquidity, and it took the Federal Reserve to, uh, you know, they bail them out and they went tapioca they closed the shop of course john whatever john started some money or something i can't remember what his last name was it's got money in the name but he started another fund and it lasted only a year and didn't didn't go very well but that hey everybody starts over i'm not saying positive or minors or not i don't really care about that i'm just trying to get away from the stuff i said about the fbi <laughs> I promise not to talk about politics anymore, and I'm not going to. Anyway, those are some of the ones in the FANG section that makes the thing look really bad. There's not one good. There's not one good one in the whole, in the in the whole thing. Here's Google. You know how big big Google is, and it, this is this thing's uh, two days late, so it's a whole lot lower already from this. We're probably reaching down to make that target that we thought we'd get down into here. We're probably there today. But uh, that's what we're seeing here, and, and so uh, these markets look extremely bearish. That's all I can say, and I'm sticking to it. And uh, this morning on uh, this morning on Bloomberg on the Hong Kong section, early in the morning, I heard a gentleman in Hong Kong say that the bear market low was in. It finished up on Monday when we were down there at 40.06. He said that low will not be taken out for several months. And that's when the S&P was up uh, 45 handles on the day, and it was up 60 handles from the bottom. Two, 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 well, actually, 55 handles. The harmonic number in the S&P is 25, so 25 times 2 is 50, because if it goes to 50 and goes again, it'll go to 75. But he said it will not be taken out. Two hours later, it was taken out. So just because someone says something, including me, I'm the worst, I'm the worst culprit of all, but I will tell you this, when I'm wrong, I'm flat going to tell you, say, whoa, get out of the way, Jose. We don't want to do that. But that's uh, that's what we're paying attention to here. We're, we're in a situation, folks, where this is a falling knife, and you don't want to try to catch it. You know, that's the bottom line. You just don't want to try to catch it. It's a real toughie. You know, that's the main thing to uh, pay close attention to. We made a Really sharp low down here in the S&P. I don't know if we took out the lows of the day or not. I didn't hear that beeper. The beeper went off on the Dow Jones, but it didn't go off on the other one. Let me try to update my thing here. Yeah, we did. We did make a new low in the uh, – not in the S&P. Yeah, we did. We made a new low in the S&P, and we've already rallied 10 handles. So we'll see what happens here. Very interesting. We just rallied 100 points in the Dow, so somebody's trying to, to buy this. Now the uh, – the uh, crude oil, I noticed here that we got up to our price level at 92. We're now trading at 91.93, and that's going to be an interesting one to uh, pay attention to, too. So we'll be watching it, you know, very, very closely. Someone's asked a question, what happens if this low I'm looking at comes in at 45 minutes early? Happens all the time, boys and girls. You have to let the market give you some idea of where you are in the trade and then decide whether you want to be a buyer or seller. That's the main thing. We've we've, we've actually rallied just 100 points here in the Dow Jones in, I think, two minutes. How long has it been? In six minutes. Doesn't take – that's because the shorts are scared to death, you know, right? <laughs> of course they should be because the market rallied 60 handles last night, and that's not unusual too. So let's uh, remind ourselves uh, of that too. Okay. Next question, I have one other one that I wanted to share with you from the FANG group that I think is relatively important, and that is our good friend Tesla. And this is a split stock, so folks, when you see this chart, don't laugh because I don't use TradingView. I still use Ensign for everything, and they don't make the corrections on this. So when you see that price level down here, don't let it fool you. But I did want to show you that we made the 61% retracement here on Tesla the other day, and it has actually held up relatively well compared to all the others. It's held up extremely well in here. My goodness, the clock on the wall says we're almost done here today. So let's uh, let's wait and see what's happening here, and um, we'll do one thing at a time. 
But uh, Tesla, this this chart, this part down here is not, this has not happened, folks. This is just the split. This is where we were, and we backed off just a little bit with the split stock. I wanted to bring that to your mind. That's why I don't trade stocks. It's too uh, too confusing. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I wouldn't be doing my due diligence unless I shared this chart from our good friend Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Um, this shows you the island reversal, folks. This is a one, three, five pattern. The Dow Jones was absolutely perfect with the timing of it. And if we've had the island reversal trapping everybody, and now we've started to move down sharply, uh, we're, you know, we've dropped a lot more than people might have thought, folks. Uh, stop and think. We were at 42, uh, 20, 42.35, and we hit a low just a few minutes ago of 39.64 that's a 200 and some handles in two days that's not a uh, what we call a bullish scenario so anyway that's what we're paying attention to so far today 
I hope that helps. Uh, remember, tomorrow we're going to have Shane Smolian as a cameo appearance. On Wednesday, excuse me, on Thursday, we will have Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. And on Friday, don't miss, because all day the whole program will be donated to Mr. Peter Elides. I'm sure he'll have some wonderful things. He's been traveling, but he thinks he'll be able to make it on Friday, so that'll be fun. Remind, remind yourselves, folks, to live every day in an attitude of gratitude and try to help your neighbors, because my goodness, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that are having a whole lot of trouble. And uh, there's a reason for that. There's something wrong out here with our economy. We saw the price of lumber that I posted last week, and, and I posted it on Monday, too. The you know, price of lumber has dropped in half, and the price of concrete has come down. The price of iron ore has come down. You know, So that's it. Now, if you shorted the crude oil up there at that uh, 92.15, which was the top of the ABCD pattern, you don't want to let that get above 20 points above it, folks. So if, if, you, if you see a trade of uh, 92. 1535, 92.40, you take a small loss and say, ha, won't listen to that guy anymore. And that's un and that's acceptable also because these work they don't work all the time, these patterns. None of them do. So let's remind ourselves of that also. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Our guest will be Shane Smolian and live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. Mm -hmm.